Hi loves, welcome back to our channel. This is Jerry and for today's video, I'm going to be giving my Nintendo Switch Lite a cute Kirby makeover. Let's get right into it. All right, so these are the items that we're gonna be using today. We have a few items from Keys Factory. We have this um, Nintendo Switch Lite hard case, this Switch game card case, and this Switch Lite quick pouch. I got all of these items as well as this cute um, Kirby rubber strap charm thingy <laughs> keychain all from a website called japanyouwant.com and I'll link that below for you guys. Next items, we're going to be using these um, switch really cute thumb grips and I got these on AliExpress. I'll also link those. I'm going to try to link everything that you see in the video today in the description below. And we're going to be using these charms from my website that I made for this customization and some little dust plugs and then we're going to be using this skin it's a really pretty pink skin from sticky bunny co and if you've ever watched any of my customizations you know that i always use these skins they're on in my opinion the best skins out there and they have a lot of options they're really good so i'll link that below as well today we're using a color that i've never used before and tools for applying the skin we're going to be using this um, silicone nail tool that I always use for smoothing out um, pieces when I'm doing a skin like that and then these tweezers and then a heating tool. So I think that's everything that we're going to be using today. Now that I broke it down for you guys, let's go ahead and um, get right to customizing. I think first things first, I'm going to show you guys my switch. This is what my switch light looks like right now. And I did do a video on customizing this one when I did it this way and um, all of the things that I used for this theme. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it as well. Um, but yeah, this is also Sticky Bunny Skin, of course. This was a limited edition Rilakkuma one. It's not in stock anymore, so that's why when you see limited edition ones, you really want to jump on it because they're not always in stock. And this one is no longer available, and that's why it kind of hurts to take it off. But I've had it for quite a while now, and I'm ready to change it up. I want to do a Kirby theme, so let's go ahead and um, take this skin off. So I am think I'm going to use these tweezers to help me and I'm going to get the um, big pieces off first maybe or small. Let's get this this like smallish area around the switch first and then we can get the big pieces. Alright, so we got the big pieces off and it doesn't look to have damaged my switch or anything like that and it doesn't look to have a lot of residue. On the front area though, you do see a little more residue kind of like right there and a little bit right here. So I'm going to keep going and I'm going to take off all the little small pieces and then I'll be back to show you how to get rid of the residue. Okay, so for the little bits of residue that are left over, I'm just going to use a wet wipe and I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol on the end of it. You can use an alcohol pad or you can dip this into alcohol, whatever's easier for you, or use a Q-tip. I have this um, hand sanitizer that's mostly alcohol, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this. It's like liquid, it's not jelly. And then I'm going to gently like rub where the um, little leftover adhesive is on the device. Okay, that came off pretty well and those were the only two areas where I really saw any residue and I'm glad that it came off really easily. 
That's another one of the reasons why I really love these Sticky Bunny Co. skins because they never damage, or in my personal experience, they've never damaged a device. And they're just so nice. So yeah, that we're ready now to apply the new skin. So I'm gonna move this stuff around so we have more space and then we'll start putting the skin on. All right, so I cleared off a little room and now we can go ahead and get started on putting the skin on this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this front piece here. As you can see here, all the pieces are laid out. This is the front piece. This would be the back piece. This here is for the bumpers. This one is the game card case. And this is the SD case area, I believe. And then this is the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and start just with the big front piece because I feel like that's easiest. And when we're lifting, we're gonna go ahead and make sure to keep all these little small pieces down. Don't lift them up, is what I mean. Like that. This one wants to come up, so try to like press it in and hold it down so that you don't pull it up. All right, now, now that we've got the piece that we want, like, wow, this is such a beautiful pink. I usually get one called baby pink, but this time I got pastel pink. And it's honestly so pretty. It's a little bit like pearlescent. It's so nice. I'm really glad I got this one. So let's see. I'm going to try to line this up with the buttonholes as best as I can. So I'm just kind of putting it over the device. And I'm not pressing anything in. I'm just laying it over so that I can um, pull it and push it towards where I think looks best. Like here, the square isn't lined up all the way. So I'll probably move it a little like this. And what I like about this skin is it's not super sticky right away, so you can do this, move it around. It's not gonna stick down too easily when you don't want it to. And even if you were to stick it down, you can still peel it up. So I think that's lined up pretty good. I'm gonna check out this area. Kind of making sure the buttons are where I like. If I were to flatten it down, would it flatten down? evenly and i think i really like this placement so i'm going to try to go with it i'm going to lift up the device and then start smoothing down the skin in um, the areas where it's not pressed down so i'm going to make sure this area is nice and this area and basically just flatten out anything i can flatten out And then for small areas that you can't get into if you have long nails or um, for your fingers or for whatever reason you can't get into the small areas with your fingers, I like to use this. It's a nail art tool and it's a silicone on both sides and I just use that to like press in on the um, small detailed areas like here. Alright, so now is where it gets tricky. Around the area, rounded areas is where it gets tricky. If it's rounded on a flat area like this, you can usually rub it down with your fingers like that and it'll stay down pretty well. But these edges around here are the ones that are harder to get. You'll notice that if you rub it down with your thumb or your finger, you'll get little like wrinkles or scalloped looking edges. So I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that. You're gonna need a heat tool like this. This is just a crafting heat gun that you can get on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box to one for you guys. And um, yeah, so this just blows out hot air or warm air. And we're gonna blow it onto this area here, but not too close where it's touching, just a little far away and not for a long time. We're gonna do like a sweeping motion and only a few seconds at a time. You don't wanna apply too much heat. And I've been asked a lot if you can use like, um, a hair dryer or a blow dryer and yes you can but try to keep it at the lowest setting possible farther away and just quick quick swoops only for a few seconds because a hair blow dryer is stronger and you don't want to damage your device so let's go ahead
once the heat's been applied, it's going to be a lot more malleable and easy for you to um, smooth out. So now you see it's smoothed out very quickly, very easily. No wrinkles, no scalloping, bumping, or anything like that. And it only took a few seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of these other edges. And then I'll be right back. All right, now that we're done with all the edges, everything's really smooth and nice, we can go ahead and move on to the next piece. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the back piece because that's the like harder piece and I just wanna get the whole back done because then once we're done with the back, it kind of has the sides attached, then we can do the bottom and then the smaller pieces. So let's just go ahead and tackle this big piece right here. And again, little pieces like this, they could really get in your way so make sure that you're leaving the little piece of sticker behind. All right, now we've got the big piece like this and I'm gonna try to line it up as best I can with this area, I believe. And then with the holes here, let's see. Okay, that looks good here, but before I press down too much, I'm going to kind of fold the top up to make sure that these vent holes and all of these holes match up because it's really important that they do. So without folding too much, you can kind of tell already that it's going to line up pretty well with the vents and with the holes up here. So I'm going to go ahead and commit to this alignment and then just start straightening out as much as I can. Here I'm just going to take my finger and wipe across the whole back. And remember areas like this where it's kind of rounded and it doesn't look very smooth at first, we'll be able to get smoother with the heat tool. So don't worry too much about that. All right, now that I've got most of the flat parts down, I'm gonna start working on these rounded edges. I think I'm gonna start with this side. So what I'm gonna do is put a little heat here and a little heat here, and I'm gonna use my tool and my thumb to try to get it as smooth as I possibly can. Alright, so we've smoothed this out. This looks good. This looks good. But now we want all of this area smooth. So we're going to do that same thing. We're just going to keep um, heating and smoothing, heating and smoothing until we get everything down. Alright, we're done with the back piece and I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with the application. Didn't have too much trouble and I think it looks nice. This is what the top looks like. I think it looks great so far. So let's go ahead and just do the little small pieces and we'll be done with the scale. So next piece is this piece here. And this is going on the bottom of the device. So I'm going to hold it like this and I'm going to try to align it here so that I don't have trouble when I'm plugging the charger in. I want to make sure that that hole is completely lined up well and it's not obstructed. This is probably, I would say, the trickiest piece to put on because you need to line it up in so many places. You want the holes lined up and then you want it lined up to the back skin and to the front skin and there's just a lot of areas that need to line up for this to work and look good. Okay, I think the alignment looks really good in my opinion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start smoothing it out now. This part's easy to smooth out, but then these edges are going to need a little bit of heat so that they smooth out like more smoothly. 
All right, so this is the final look with the last big piece on there. I think I could have lined it up a little more to the left there because it overlapped a little here, so it might have been better if I moved it a little that way, but it doesn't look bad. I'm really happy with it, to be honest, and I always have a case on still, but it does look really pink, and I really love this pink. Like I can't get over how beautiful it is. The application wasn't hard, so I am happy with that. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly put on these little easy pieces or just little square pieces that you just stick on. You don't have to like, you don't have to heat them up or anything like that. They just, this is the game card one. And you just kind of press it down like that. Same thing with the little SD card one. And with these, I'll usually line it up like that where I want it and then hold it down with my thumb and then kind of, cause this is a little bit curved. So that's why you want to kind of hold one edge and then guide it into that curve. Like that, it looks like we have a little room. So I'm going to pull it up a little more. kind of pull it and curve it like that and since we ended up having to curve it I do apply a little heat and then I go in with my nail tool and smooth that out and there we go now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and I think it looks so much better all right, so now that we've got the skin on there and it looks really good, let's move on to my next favorite part, which is thumb grips. So like I said, I got these thumb grips on AliExpress and I don't exactly remember how much they were, but I know they were cheap. So I'll put a link for you guys. I'll see if they're on Amazon or eBay too for you guys. But they're little Kirby's and I think they're so cute. The little cheeks are adorable. And then I really like the rainbow hearts. So I don't know if I should do two Kirby's or one Kirby and one rainbow. Hmm. Since this is kind of colorful, I'm thinking I'm going to go with one of the rainbow ones because it's like pink, yellow, and blue, just like this case. So I'm going to do one Kirby and one rainbow. I think it's cute that it came in this little clear packaging that you can close right back up and you can like store them in here. I think that's so cool. I've never seen that with grips before. So these, I think we're just going to fold this piece back and um, oh. got one of those little stickers stuck on me. Okay, and then I'm thinking Kirby up there and then this, the heart down here. Okay, these were a little harder to get on like this one. When you flip it inside out, it kind of wants to flip right away so I couldn't really show you guys that but this one I flipped inside out as you can see you just flip these back so now that it's flipped you get it like this and you put it on like that and then you flip the edges back like that so let's see the side profiles I think they look really good they're on there pretty snug and I think they look super cute especially on the pink like I love these, I'm so happy with them, yay. Okay, so next thing is gonna be charms. Next thing we're gonna do is charms. So I have these charms right here that I made. And if you're interested in any of these, I think these two are on my website and they come in a bunch of different colors, so check that out. Um, this little resin sticker piece I made from a Kirby sticker sheet that I had and I just domed the front and back and I glued on a bell and I did this. I have a few different like sticker piece um resin hearts and stars like this on my website if you want a little strap for yourself um and if you want me to make some different characters let me know comment like what characters and what colors you want for these and i'll make more um i also have this little moon i chose the pink one with the white stars and then this um winged satin bow with the little bell at the end of it and i'm going to attach oops 
I'm going to attach them to my device by using one of these dust plugs and they're clear. If you don't know what a dust plug is, it's like this clear little silicone plug and you plug it into the audio or headphone jack on your device to protect it from dust and stuff flying into it. Some of them come with a little hole at the top. So what I did is I got a little o-ring like this and you can get these o-rings on eBay, Amazon, or at your local craft store like A. Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. You can grab a pack of o-rings. So I got the o-rings and I opened them with the pliers and I put them through the, the hole at the top of the dust plug and now I have a dust plug with a ring at the top. And um, if you don't want to go buy it, because dust plugs, I believe they come in like packs of 100 and then you have to buy a pack of um, o-rings. So if you don't want to go out and buy these packs, um, but you are buying a charm from my shop, then go ahead and let me know in the comments section and I'll send you um, dust plugs for free, of course. So, let's see. So what I'm gonna do is this one, the bow ones that I make, they always come on a little lobster clasp like this and they're always like beaded like that. So this one's pretty easy. We're just gonna open the lobster clasp and attach it to the end of the um, dust plug. And I have gold and silver ones. So if you want one from my website, just make sure you let me know what you want or else I'll probably just put whatever matches the charm you got. And these are um, on, what do you call these, straps. So these are a little bit trickier. I'll show you how to put these on if you've never used like a cell phone strap or lanyard. You're gonna um, get it and push it together like this so that you can push it through the hole of the O-ring. I actually went ahead and took the lobster clasp off so I can show you this first and you don't get confused seeing that one on there. So like I said, we're gonna um, kind of squeeze it together like that so that we can fit it through the O-ring here. So push it through and once it's through, it's gonna look like this, like it's through the O-ring. So now what you're gonna do is open the strap like this, make sure it's fully open and you're gonna get your charm and push it through the hole. If the charm is too big to go through the hole, then unclip the lobster clasp and just put the lobster clasp through and reclip it when you're done. So since this one's small, we're just gonna push it through the hole like this. And then pull it like that. Once it's through like that, pull the um, dust plug so it's like a knot on the o-ring like that and now it's attached to the o-ring i like a lot of charms <laughs> i'm a little extra like that so i'm going to use all of these charms and i'm going to attach them all to the same o-ring and actually i'm going to show you guys another trick if you don't want to do that and you are going to be using a lobster clasp too you can do this little trick where you open the lobster clasp and then stick the strap in like that and then connect this like that but that does make it a little bit longer. But I think that's kind of cute because then the moon sticks out longer than the other pieces. If you wanted it to be the same height, then you would tie it on instead of um, doing it that way. But I'm gonna keep it like this. And so once you have all the charms that you want on there, you're just gonna stick the dust plug into the audio jack like that. And now you have um, cute charms on your device. And this is how they look hanging from the back. This one makes a pretty little noise. And if you, they're bothering you or you don't want to use them, you can always just pull the whole jack out and here are your charms. All right, so now that we picked charms, I'm gonna go ahead and put the case on. And like I said earlier, for this customization, I'm gonna be using the Case Factory um, Kirby switch light hard case with the little cover on it. I'm really excited about this because I've never had a case like this with the cover. So let's see. All right, so this would be like the cover for the screen. And the case opens like this. Oh, it's two pieces. I thought it swung open. Okay, it's a really pretty like corally color. I feel like it would look really nice on the coral switch. Like it's the same color as the coral switch. So let's go ahead and put our switch in. It goes in like that. 
and let's see if the front will snap in with our skin on. I'm putting this on upside down or, or, or backwards or what am I doing? I know I'm doing something wrong. Here we go. I always have to do something wrong. That's just me. There we go. That's easier. <laughs> that was probably obvious to you guys. I'm sorry about that. Alright, so now we're going to try to snap it in. Like in all the places where it snaps. Like that. Alright, so this is how the case looks on. I do think it looks really nice. There's something about this part though that I don't like. Can you kind of see? It's kind of like wavy and it kind of feels like paper and it kind of looks like soaked up paper. Like you can kind of see through it and like it's kind of wavy. I don't know how much I like that. And then the weird thing is that it closes really well at the top and it closes well here, here, here. But this side, like it closes, you can get it to close all the way but it won't snap. And I tried it on my husband's switch light that doesn't have a skin on it and he, we get the same issue. Like it just doesn't close all the way. So I'm not a fan of that. I do like that this closes like this and protects your screen. Like I thought that was really cool. And I do like the color, like it's a really pretty coral color. So. I do like that, but I'm not happy about the fit, so I'm not sure that I would recommend this one. But let's... I think I'm just going to have to make myself a Kirby Switch Light case. I know I've made a lot for you guys on the website, but i got to make another one for myself. Maybe make it like a pastel rainbow to match this. So I'm going to probably do that. But for now, let's see what the um, pouch is like, and let's see if this hard case will fit in the pouch. So these are my favorite kind of pouches. If you've seen me customize stuff on this channel before, they're by Keys Factory and they're called Quick Pouches and I really love these. Alright, so the Quick, quick Pouch is like a soft foamy pouch. So it's got like this like memory foam-ish material to protect your device, but it's light and thin so it's easy to carry around. And I like these for like carrying around my house and around my shop and not too much for like traveling far with them, but just like if I'm going to go watch TV downstairs or I'm going to come do something upstairs in my um, game room or something or go back to my bed and I don't really want to carry a hard case with me to my bed, then I'll take this. It's like really soft, really easy, but it's also protective. It's usually Velcro at the top like this. And it usually only has one um, opening and it's just for your switch. There won't be pockets or anything for anything else. Some of them will like open to the side and that's easier for loading, but this is usually pretty easy to put your switch in. But I haven't tried it with any of these kind of cases, so I'm inter interested. <laughs> to see if this case will fit in the quick pouch. So usually you put in one side like this and then you stretch it out and push in. So that went in pretty easily. And it closes up really easily too. So I'm happy about that. I'm glad to know that it at least fits in the quick pouch. And this pouch is so cute. It has like a really pretty pattern, different one on each side. And it's like really fun and colorful and playful. And I really like that, so. This one's cute. I'm happy with this pouch. I gotta admit, I'm, I am glad I got this pouch. It's just the hard case that I'm not so sure about. So anyway, I do have a couple more, a couple of other items that I wanted to show you guys. So, well, let's see how this charm actually looks on the case. <gasps> no, I just realized that since we have this strap, you also can't have um, charms on when you're using this case, so. Maybe what I did do in one video is I punched a hole through here, just a small tiny hole with a needle, and then I put in a large O-ring, so there was a ring on the side, and then I connected my charms there. So you can do that to just get an O-ring and pliers from your local um, craft store. So on I got this, this, and this on that website, Japan You Want. I really love that website. It's a Japanese website. Um, 
Shipping is usually 16 to 20 something dollars, but that's because they're flying it in from Japan. But you do get your order, your items extraordinarily fast for it being international and coming from Japan. It's like less than a week, just a few days, and you'll get your items because they're using DHL. So I did get this um, keychain from there too, and I thought it really went with this theme and it matches this stuff really nicely. It's like a rubber um, rubber strap and it looks like to me like a sugar cookie, like it gives like a sugar cookie feel. And here's a little star wand and I thought that was cool. And this one is actually removable. It comes on a little hook like this. So if you wanted to, you can pull it off like that and then attach it to one of your charms and it would be really cute hanging from the charm like that. And then you have this keychain and also if you wanted to make this cuter you can just get your pliers and open up the o-ring from here and then attach it to a strap and now you have it on a cute pink strap so i think that's probably what i'm gonna do with this one it's really cute i love it and then the last item that i want to show you guys is this kirby um game card case also by keys factory um, it's so cute. You see it fits two cases and I feel like that's perfect and you can also Hook on a strap onto here one of these straps and then put, hook it on with your charms And I think that would be really cool or you can hook it to the side or just carry it in your bag with you So let's go ahead and open this All right, so here it is. It's super lightweight. It's so cute. It's pink. It's got Kirby's little cute face on there. And you turn it around, it says Kirby. You open it like that. How cute. And this is where the game card cases go. I'm gonna pull one out just to show you. And I got a little Animal Crossing and I think we just stick it in like that. And that's so cute. And then you just pull it out, I believe. Oh, that takes the whole thing with it. So how would we get it out of the cartridge? Out of here. Maybe you just hold it like that and then pull it out. Yeah. So. I think that's cool. You would just hold it here with your thumb and then pull it out. And it's even easy to get out with super long nails, so I'm sure you guys will be able to do it. So cute! I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to show you really quick how you would attach it like as a charm, like one of these. I'm going to replace the moon with it. So what we're going to do... Just take the moon out of here. So you'll get your strap just like this and push it through this part and then push the lobster clasp through the opening like this and then pull so you have that knot there and then you'll get this guy open up the clasp and attach it to the o-ring like that and now you have a cute um, Kirby charm that also holds your game card cases. I mean, your game cards, it's a game card case. So, I think that's really cute and I'm really happy with it. That's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Love you guys so much. See you in the next one, Kitty and Jerry.